Welcome my fellow geeks and gamers. Got another Jamersion video here. This is a new play view. <clears throat> Today in this video we're going to be looking at XCOM Chimera Squad. Now uh, as this recording uh, of last week here, uh, we got the uh, surprise announcement from Paraxis and the 2K Games that a new XCOM game would be launching next week, i.e. this week. Uh, I was all over it. I got the uh, pre-order snatched up real quick there on Steam. Took a look at everything. Uh, and uh, this XCOM Chimera Squad, to me, it looks like it's going to play a good deal like the original Rainbow Six. If you're a fan of that game, if you remember that game, if you're an old gamer like me, played the original Rainbow Six, it was excellent. Much better than uh, the uh, the Rainbow Six uh, version is out now. Uh, and that's what this game reminded me of. So I definitely wanted to get in here and try it. Get on this game. Plus, I'm a huge XCOM fan. I've been playing XCOM ever since it launched. Played them all, completely played through, so let's take a look at this one here. Going in for the first time, fresh play. Chimera Squad, XCOM. Alright, let's see what we got here. Story for players new to technical games or who just want to experience the game's narrative. Normal for players familiar with tactical games, challenging but fair. Expert for XCOM veterans looking for a challenge or impossible, a brutal challenge for only the bravest of players. Alright, since I'm just doing this here for the video, give an intro to uh, people who might want to check this out for the first time. We'll just go normal. There's an Iron Man, there's Hardcore, Extended City Anarchy. Adds five levels to the city anarchy meter, decreasing the strategic difficulty of the game. Okay, we're going to play through the tutorial for this video. I'm going to show subtitles. Heal between encounters. Half heal. No healing. Or full heal. Uh, I don't know if we'll have any encounter breaks here during the tutorial, so we'll keep it on what it was set to, and let's get into the game. Two minutes out. Hey, Godmother, is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and taking it to the bad guys? I wouldn't know. I spent most of the war training resistance networks. Like mine, and for your many long years of service. Watch it. XCOM attaches you to an untested squad and pushes it into the field before it's ready. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. I wish I could have pulled my weight. For which side, exactly? I find that very hurtful. Sure thing, Advent. <clears throat> we are through the checkpoint. I was never actually Advent. But they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. We're here. 3-1 PD gave us the all clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. Whisper, what's your status? And what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. He, uh, he hailed a cab. To a hostage situation? Focus. Whisper, any surprises in the next room? A handful of hostiles, unaware of your approach. Chimera squad, take positions. Prep for breach. Breach mode. Breaching. Chimera squad begins every mission by setting up a breach, setting up at breach points to get the jump on enemies. Preview the enemy presence at each breach point and modifiers that will be applied. Then assign agents to the available slots to determine the order they'll enter the fight. All right. 
right, so I've got three breach slots here on the main door. So I only have three agents. All right, since I'm not familiar with what their skills and abilities are. Successful shots of enemies will crit. Okay. Stay behind me. All right. Reach targeting. Cycle through available targets with tab and left shift. Then use selected ability with enter. All right. So let's go. Let's see. Hit 100%, crit 133%. Nightingale. Is that our hostage? Welcome to City 31's Memorial Museum. It's just a recording. As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah, blah, blah. History. Focus. Okay, turns and moving. Agents and enemies take their turns one at a time. Their current place in the turn order can be seen on the unit flag above their head and next to their portrait in the timeline. Which both update after each turn. Agents have two action points each turn to use for movement, shooting, or abilities. Look for a blue shield to move into cover for defensive purposes before shooting, or move out to flank the enemy for a better chance to hit. Use the timeline to determine when enemies will take their turn in order to neutralize them or protect teammates. Some advanced abilities and equipment allow you to manipulate the order of the timeline. Some actions, like shooting, will end the turn regardless of how many action points are available. Alright, so what we have here, uh, uh, in comparison to the original, uh, the previous XCOM games, uh, in, in those games we had a uh, you go, enemy goes, turn alternates. This game, it's a you go, it's a we go system. There's a, a more of a uh, traditional Dungeons and Dragons TTRPG and initiative order. So that's what we're operating with, which uh, I like much better. All right, let's take a moment here to look at the aesthetic, which is still very similar. XCOM and XCOM 2, but as you can see, uh, much of the art style 
is different. The HUD is different. The uh, those uh, talking graphics that came up are much different. So there's some new things that they've thrown into the game while holding on to uh, a framework of the original or the the previous two XCOM games. All right, so. Who is first? So my first one here is Cherub with the shield. Right, now I don't know what class Cherub is. What Cherub's abilities and skills are. I guess I'll find out during the gameplay. Alright, so I have... I have two bogeys. Both at 12. at the beginning uh, spoiler alert if you have not finished XCOM 2 uh, there are going to be some serious spoilers in 2015 the people of earth suffered an extraterrestrial I'm going to do something here real quick I'm going to turn the uh, music down just a bit uh, music there we go it is a bit loud so let's, let's try that. There we go. I don't want to turn it off completely. All right, so back. Three months. Back to Billions the combat. of humans perished. Human right, cities sure. such as this one Fire. suffered casualty rates of nearly 90%. Despite the loss, what came next? Nice. All right. So next up is Godmother. Godmother is over here. Godmother has no shot. Oh, that's Overwatch. Nope, that's not what I want. Godmother's gonna have to move first. What is Godmother armed with? Shotgun, it looks like. Godmother. Put it there an exposing shot. Yes. Okay, this is going to work, I think. You see this? Huh. Interesting. Took you so long. Had to unpack a breaching charge. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. Don't ever change. Verge, form up. Any hostiles in the next room? Yes. I can feel them. Alrighty then. Here's the next breach door. Multiple breach points and turn order. Some encounters offer more than one breach point with different risks and benefits. Consider whether to split the squad or send them all through the same location. Agents entering from the same breach point will enter the encounter together and be closer in the timeline. 
The order the breach points will enter is shown next to their name and can be changed using the arrows. That's these arrows up here. Okay. All right, so. So the main door is being closely watched. Enemies deal plus one damage during the breach. All right, there is another door somewhere. Last unit through this entrance does plus three damage during the breach. Okay, I think I'm going to go. Let's see, I'm going to go Cherub with the shield. I'm going to go Godmother with the shotgun. Here I'm going to go. Yeah. Uh, urge and my tech high ground. All right. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, let's see. Do I want to go through? Do I want to go through the main door? Yes, I want to go through the main door first. This is going to be my surprise door. That's correct. Reaching in. Here we go. We shall move in. All right. So this character, this dude is surprised. Surprised. And aggressive. Aggressive enemies will shoot at XCOM if they are neutralized during the breach sequence. Let's go here. Agent abilities. Each agent has a unique ability they can use every turn, eventually gaining more abilities from their class and equipment. Most agents who also most agents also have the subdue ability, a non-lethal attack that is low damage but guaranteed to hit. Use it to earn additional rewards and for certain mission objectives. Cherub uses the charged bash ability instead of subdue. Roger that. All right, so I have two. Three. Correction. Three. Three targets down here. Alright, Cherub. You are up first. Okay, so who is this? Trooper 3-3. Three, three. Alright, so that's... Trooper 2, rather. Trooper 2. Trooper 2, right here. Alright, so Trooper 2 is going to move after Cherub. Is I'm going to put chair up here. So Godmother moves next. Godmother, you have a shot. They provided structure. That's the brutal occupation government known as Advent believed in 
in unlimited genetic manipulation of their many atrocities. Their greatest was the creation of human-alien hybrids, people such as myself. Though we were once human, Advent rewrote our bodies and minds, then used us as humanity's jailers. But a growing resistance defied Advent's cruelty. After 20 years, the occupation would begin to crumble. I like that. That's a nice touch. Listening to the history that the uh, 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 intercom, the, the recorder is uh, spouting out there. And control their new All right. Subjects. Let's pacify that, this room. They provided <laughs> All right. Godmother took a little damage. That's fine. Okay, uh, Verge, let's scoot you over here so you can get a flanking shot. And take it. Set up the breaching charge. I do like to make an entrance. All right, breach mode again. Special breach points. Some breach points can only be accessed with special equipment or abilities. Once an agent with the required asset is in the first slot, other agents can then be assigned. Excuse me. All right, there's a screenshot from the uh, XCOM 2 there. Okay, so... Um, Explosive entrance. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. All right, so this is going to be Cherub. So Cherub has to take the main point, while the others are going to fit in on the door. Okay, so we're going to take. Uh, I'm going to send Verge in with Cherub, and I'm going to send my humans. I'm still not sure of their abilities. I'm going with this. Once I get into the playthrough, I'll uh, I'll have a better knowledge of where to preach them. Okay, reach. Wait, hold. Hostage confirmed in the next room. Great. We need more than that. Free one PD has a live feed. Patching through. If you surrender, I will advocate leniency. Enough. This exhibit. It is about XCOM's role in our liberation. I see you read the placard. It doesn't say how they went soft and got weak. Now, it's up to us to light the spark. He's holding a detonator. Go, now! How's this for an entrance? I'll protect you. Cherub is down. Oh, Terminal, hell. stabilize him. On it. Verge, with me. Protect the mayor. Confirmed. See, I wish I had a better... 
control over where they went to in the room after the breach. That's what I need. Like I said earlier, it was it's very reminiscent of the early, uh, the, the original Rainbow Six, but in that game you could tell, you could specifically pinpoint where they where they would go. Okay, bleeding out. Agents that lose all their HP will begin bleeding out over several turns, indicated by the number in the timer. The mission will fail unless the agent bleeding out is saved with the stabilizability or the encounter is completed before the timer expires. Alright, so terminal is my medic. Alright, and terminal comes up on uh, uh, turn three. Uh, okay. So first up is Verge. So Verge, you. Blanking here. I've got these two who are going to move there. I could send Verge over. No, because he commanded Terminal to do it. So, Verge. Let's see. We're going to do a bounding movement here. Verge, you probably have a shot there. Take it. Next up is um, Godmother. Godmother, we're going to bound to here with the shotgun. There you go. Now you've got a shot. Take it. send safeguard subdue overwatch gremlin stabilize there it is gremlin stabilize oops On the run! Removing target! Wow, you missed? You actually missed. Yeah. Uh, Overwatch. Alright, so next up is uh, <clears throat> Verge. Okay, so Verge, this character is on Overwatch. So you're going to draw fire. Shifting. All right. Uh, now, do we have a shot with the shotgun? Yes, take it. Okay, got blocked. Chera, are you still with us? Yeah, I think so. Only thing injured is my pride. And your diaphragm. And a few ribs. None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. I'm, I'm grateful, of course, but these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. I read their threat assessment. A month ago, these insurgents were all talk and no capability. The greatest threat they posed was to bottles of alcohol. Why tell us? Why now? City 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting peace. I'm the public face of this. Tonight? Someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know, but right now you're the only ones I'm certain are fighting for that same peace. Can I count on your support? 
Yes, ma'am. Alrighty then. Operation Demon Guillotine. Crisis at the museum. Whisper here. Head back to base. We're going to need to debrief. Alright, so Godmother, lightly wounded. Cherub got gravely wounded. Needs to heal. Terminal Verger unharmed. Mission stats took me four rounds. Yada yada yada. Okay, rating was good. Eh, okay. Continue. Package delivered to 31 PD. She truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's... <laughs> it's bad luck. Oh, hell. Okay. Is that the end of the tutorial? Or... Let's see what happens here. Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The city council asks citizens to remain... So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the reclamation agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Welcome home, Chimera Squad. The director wants to speak with us. Thanks for getting the mayor killed. Also, you're fired. That's not helpful. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your action at the museum. And its aftermath. Kelly. Director Kelly. I take full responsibility for what happened. Stop. I sent you to City 31 because I believed you were ready. Tonight, you surpassed my expectations. 3-1-PD requested help within three hours of your arrival in the city. You answered immediately. Going in, you were under-equipped and down an agent. You adapted, as we trained you to do. And let's not forget, you rescued the mayor. You delivered her to safety as the city requested. Don't blame yourself for an outcome you couldn't control. Instead, let's focus on what's next. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. Head over there. I'll hold. There is a critical target waiting on the city map. Uh, okay, let's see. Complete memorial museum aftermath situation in downtown. Okay. Um, well, let's take a look at the map here. I'll add that onto this video, and then let's see what... Welcome to City 31. During Advent's occupation, the city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Mm. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry, self-government, and local agriculture to support the varied populations. Against all odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Until tonight. We don't know that. Not yet. But we can find out. 3-1-PD requested our help sifting through evidence at the Memorial Museum. They lost good officers today. Give them what they need and see what we can learn. CD-31 map. The map is where we see the status of CD-31 and any current targets we can send our squad to respond to. Chimera squad can respond to one target per day, after which the day automatically advances. Targets come in two types. Missions are tactical targets. The squad will go into combat into these, on these. Situations are strategic targets. The squad takes care of these without entering combat. Current targets change every day, so watch the city carefully for new priorities. Alright, and that's a look at the new mission map, overall mission map. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick brief look into what this new XCOM Chimera Squad game is about, what it looks like, what it feels like, how it's going to play. Uh, it is currently on, on sale as of the making of this video on Steam for a, an introductory half price. I don't know how long that's going to last. Uh, I'll find that out and put it down in the uh, show notes there. Uh, 
added onto the video. <coughs> but uh, this is a uh, Firaxis game developed, uh, 2K Games published, XCOM, Chimera Squad. Go check this game out if you are a fan of the X XCOM series, if you like uh, turn-based tactical uh, alien apocalypse survival games here. This is one you definitely need to check out. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Come back and uh, watch all my other videos here. Subscribe to the uh, the channel. Like this video if you like it. Uh, leave me some uh, positive comments down there in the uh, below. Tell me what you like about this game if you're playing it. Uh, what you think about it, especially you uh, longtime XCOM fans. Uh, and again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Oh,